If you are cutting carbs from your diet, then you've probably wondered about the world's favorite yellow portable snack and makeshift meal. Bananas, what's the deal? Can you eat a banana on a low-carb diet? How many carbs in banana? Carbs in banana If you're thinking about trying keto or lowering your carb intake, it's important to familiarize yourself with the carb counts in different ingredients. You might be surprised to learn that the energy in bananas comes primarily from carbohydrates, most of which is sugar. If that doesn't surprise you, then surely you may have just come for the brass tacks nutrition facts. So here you go, my friend. In 100 grams of raw banana, there are 22.84 grams of total carbohydrate per USDA. Of that total, 2.6 grams of that are fiber, and 12.23 grams is sugar. No kitchen scale? No problem. The actual carb count and nutrient composition of a banana depend on its size and preparation. According to the USDA, an extra small banana, less than 6 inches long, has 18.5 grams of total carbohydrates with 2.1 grams fiber and 9.91 grams sugar. A small banana, 6 minus 6 minus 7 eighths, long, has 23.07 grams total carbs, 2.6 grams fiber, and 12.35 grams sugar. A medium-sized banana, 7 inches to 7 minus 7 eighths, long, has 26.95 grams total carbs, 3.1 grams fiber, and 14.43 grams sugar. A large banana, 8 inches to 8 minus 7 eighths, long, has 31.06 grams total carbs, 3.5 grams fiber, and 16.63 grams sugar. An extra-large banana, 9 inches or longer, has 34.72 grams total carbs, 4.0 grams fiber, and 18.59 grams sugar. One cup of sliced bananas has 34.26 grams total carbs, 3.9 grams fiber, and 18.34 grams sugar. One cup of mashed bananas has 51.39 grams total carbs, 5.8 grams fiber, and 27.52 grams sugar. Banana net carbs Using the information provided, we can calculate the net carbs in banana. Remember, net carbs are simply total carbs minus the fiber. Banana net carbs range from 16.4 grams for the small fruit to 30.72 for the larger varieties. When it comes to carbs in banana, size definitely does matter. Are bananas keto-friendly? As you can see above, bananas are not very low-carb. No matter how thin you slice them, it would be pretty hard to deem bananas keto-friendly. Nutritional ketosis is simply a shift in the metabolism from burning primarily sugars as fuel to burning fat. If you are fueling your body with foods high in carbohydrates, it prevents this metabolic state. Bananas are a relatively high-carb food and would provide a source of sugar to fuel your body upon digestion. That's why they aren't a good choice for the keto diet, not because there are special diet rules that deem specific ingredients keto or not. Does this mean bananas are unhealthy? No. That's not what this means. Carbs aren't unhealthy, fruits aren't bad for you, and carbs aren't evil incarnate. In the world of low-carb and keto diets, many of us like to demonize all carbohydrates and label things as bad, or good. It's not that carbs are bad, per se, it's excess carbohydrates that can be detrimental. The thing is that many of us eat to excess, whether it be carbs, calories, or both. That's when the problems start. Insulin resistance, PCOS, diabetes, expanding waistline, etc. Let's be real here for a second, it's not bananas fault we're fat, guys. It's that we are eating too much. Are bananas fattening? As mentioned, one single food in and of itself is not fattening. It's eating to excess that is fattening. Even with a higher number of carbs in banana than preferred, eating one will not make you fat. Taking in more energy than your body needs is the primary driver of weight gain. So if you're asking questions like, can bananas make you gain weight, or can I eat banana if I want to lose weight, what you should really be wanting to know is how many calories are in a banana. Net carbs in banana banana calories that's right, ladies and gents. Calories do indeed matter when it comes to losing and gaining weight. We've already checked out the carbs in banana, now, let's take a look at banana calories. There are 89 calories in 100 grams of banana. 
That means banana calories range from a mere 72 calories for the extra small sizes to 135 calories for extra long pieces of fruit. Not too shabby. If you were simply watching your calories in an effort to manage your weight and not restricting carbs, bananas could certainly fit the bill as a dietary choice. Low-carb keto diets can help manage insulin Low-carb keto diets can help with adherence. The diet that works is the one you can stick to. If you enjoy the kind of foods that are suitable for a low-carb diet, then you are more likely to stay with the program. If the idea of not eating a banana sounds downright impossible, keto may not be the most sustainable way of eating for you. It helps you avoid excess carbohydrates, which can be stored as fat and be extremely detrimental to your health. Even if you are cutting calories, if the calories you do eat are coming from excessive sugar and starch intake then you could be taxing your system. Not everyone requires a low-carb diet, but for the people who have gained weight and taxed their system to the point of insulin resistance and beyond, then limiting carbohydrates becomes about managing health issues in addition to any weight loss concerns. Keto banana substitute So you decide to go low-carb, what can you eat instead of bananas? That will depend on what you are trying to substitute. Flavor, if you simply like the taste of bananas and want to recreate the banana flavor in a low-carb dish, your best bet will be pure banana extract. It's low in carbs, and a little bit goes a long way. You can use it for baking, smoothies, or whenever you get the hankering for banana-esque flavors. Another option is to use a low-carb protein powder that is banana-flavored. Again, baking, smoothies, and shakes are great for this. Texture, if you are trying to replace the banana texture but need a low-carb alternative, try avocado. The flesh of a ripe avocado has a texture pretty similar to a ripe banana, but the carbs in avocado are much lower and mostly fibrous. Banana nutrition, if you hate the carbs in banana but love the micronutrients provided, there are several low-carb options that you can reach for instead. Bananas are known for their high potassium content, but they are also a good source of vitamin B6, vitamin C, and manganese. Potassium intake is crucial on a low-carb diet to prevent keto flu and balance electrolytes. Potassium also helps the body to maintain normal blood pressure. Keto-friendly sources of potassium include, meat, spinach, avocados, beet greens, Swiss chard, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, asparagus, cabbage, summer squash, mushrooms, celery, and bell peppers, just to name a few. Chances are if it's green and leafy or ever had a face, it's loaded with potassium. Vitamin B6 is important for carbohydrate metabolism, brain and nervous system health, red blood cell production, and liver detoxification. Low-carb sources of vitamin B6 include, tuna, spinach, cabbage, bok choy, garlic, cauliflower, turkey, beef, chicken, salmon, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, greens such as turnip, beet, mustard, and asparagus. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, offering protection against excess free radicals. It is also critical in collagen production, serotonin production, and supports overall brain health. Low-carbohydrate sources of vitamin C suitable for a ketogenic diet include, bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, berries such as strawberries and raspberries consumed in moderation, cauliflower, cabbage, bok choy, parsley, greens, collard, turnip, beet, mustard, tomatoes, spinach, asparagus, lemons, and limes.